Well, firstly, I would say it's a it's a it's a mistake that was that was going to happen because there has been VAR incidents all since the start of this year, uh, and there've been some of them have been terrible. Uh, and this was obviously the kind of highlight of being the worst decision, probably. Mm. There's a lack of management at the top. There must be. And there's definitely a lack of management in terms of the VAR and the referee. Because how can that decision actually not be made in that room? Someone needed to sort of say, OK, that he hasn't got the message down there. We've given him the wrong message. Let's correct it. That didn't happen. And now, of course, uh, we've had this new... Uh, one of the managerial decisions is these guys are not allowed to do VAR anymore. They're not allowed to ref. It's like a punishment, a public punishment for them. It's like putting them in stocks, really, mm -hmm. when you think about it. Uh, and so when they come back next time, uh, are they going to be better for it? I suggest not. So I don't think that's good management, really. I don't see what's the point of that. They, they just need to get the procedure, get the message down to the referee on the pitch and let the referee decide what the, the decision is. And uh, hopefully he gets some clarity from the message from the room. The other incident that happened in that game bothered me even more, if I'm honest. Well, not bothered me more, but bothered me just as much was that the monitor was in clear view of the TV cameras when the referee went straight over to it for the sending off. And there was the image, still image, of the tackle being so high, looking like it's a, you know, a break in a leg opportunity yeah, for the, Curtis for the, Jones challenge on, on Eve Basuma. Correct. Yeah. And that almost that almost I was looking at the telly thinking oh, what the other decision could he possibly have? Mm. Even if he sees it in real time after that still he's, he's still going to be swayed by it. It's still going to be in his mind. 62,000 fans in that stadium. Um but probably I would suggest about 58,000 of them wanted that boy to be yeah, sent off. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, the sway of pressure was on him. So, you know, all of that was uh, horrible. And, you know, a lot of people who call in and everything tonight, here we are, we're trying to do a show, trying to do a fun show about football and how, you know, what happened here, what happened there, what do you think of that, Pards? And here we are engrossed in this VAR situation yeah. again. And it's, uh, it's irritating. I, I personally, um, I will tell you what happens for football managers at the start of the season... The referees, the union, PJOML, whatever it's called, PGMOL or mm -hmm. something, get you in and they tell you about the new rule. We're going to tell you how it all works. And it's all like meant to be, you know, friendly, friendly. Uh, this is what we're going to do. But if you have any doubts, uh, you can question us after, you know, come back to us through this procedure. And there's like a procedural pattern. What needs to happen, I think, is every three months, every six weeks, they need to get the managers back in the room and say, well, these are the decisions. This is why this happened. And give some sort of explanation to them. Klopp is so diplomatic yesterday because, of course, you are tied with both hands behind your back when you come to giving, a, to giving your opinion about a referee mm. because you're going to get a fine. You're going to get a substantial financial fine that your wife and family will not be happy with. <laughs> so you have to be you have to be diplomatic. Holidays cancelled. Absolutely. <laughs> I mean, I can imagine. I can't imagine what Klopp would have said on the bus to his staff, yeah. to his team, to his team captain, to his fellow players, and the same, it'll be the same chat they'll have on Monday morning. Mm. You know, and uh, that's the sort of truths that needs to be done behind closed doors to referees and say, "Come on, get yourself, get yourself yeah. in order." I'll give credit to Jurgen Klopp over what he didn't say, if you like, yesterday, yeah. because he could have gone in with both barrels. But I did think some of the conversations, not just from Jurgen Klopp, but some of the fans about Liverpool being treated differently doesn't help the situation. Let me explain it. Even if you feel that way, I want people to understand. and I want us all listening to the show as football fans to go in this into this together. That's my point, right? It's not mm -hmm. about how Liverpool have been treated or how anyone else has been treated, because every team has had poor decisions in the last Absolutely. couple of seasons go against their side. Some very, very poor decisions. It's not about any single decision either. It's not because Luis Diaz's goal didn't stand that suddenly we need to get VAR better. It hasn't been good enough. Correct. It's not about any single club, any single decision. Um, not about any single manager. You know, it's not about Jurgen Klopp's relationship. It's about all of the managers getting together, all of the players getting together, us as fans, people in the media and saying to the PGMOL, to the Premier League, to the FA, to the EFL, who help fund the PGMOL, this has not been good enough. 
we need to go into it with a spirit of togetherness saying, how do we work this out? Because what we're doing, like you said a few moments ago, Adam, we're, we're putting the referees and officials in stocks that made the mistake. Mm. We're going to it saying, it's your fault. And now we're saying, Howard Webb, it's you. Yeah. And and that is that is not going to take us forward. It's not going to improve the situation. It's not a process in the way that we work. want it. No, yeah. that's correct. Yeah. And, uh, and, you know, there's no conspiracy theories. There's no referees out to get teams or anything like that. And, and certainly, uh, as far as I'm concerned, uh, as a professional, there is there, there's no kind of underhand process going on here. It's just a system that isn't working. Yeah. So therefore, how do we correct it? How do we put it right? For me, it's communication with the people that matter. As you say, the footballers and the managers and the people run the game. Now, Gary Neville yesterday, uh, Gary uh, was uh, commentating on that game for mm-hmm. Sky TV. Now, Gary Neville, in my opinion, the sending off, to go back to sending off, was absolutely spot on in his review of that goal, uh, pen, uh, sending off. The boy slid in, his ball, his tackle, and us as footballers in training, we know it, and as fellow players. It's why the Spurs players didn't make a big deal about the sending off, because they knew he'd, pro- he'd gone to win the ball. His ball over, went over the ball, his foot was rolled over the ball, which happens. It take, The momentum takes it over sometimes, your foot into the players mm. and, it's a, it's, and it's that situation and he gets a sending off uh, and perhaps it shouldn't have been a sending off so yeah. even that decision was like mm, slightly debate. so you do get grey areas like, you know there are grey areas and all my opinion might be different to an, another analyst's opinion about the sending off but the offside there is no doubt Yeah, and yeah. that's where the, the bar and the referees have to make sure yeah, they yeah, can't make yeah. mistakes. Howard like Webb's Howard Webb's come in. He said we we want to change the relationship between the fans and the officials, players and coaches and the officials. We want you to understand the processes more. So he's come out. He's done things with with TNT Sports now and Sky Sports, explaining yeah, decisions that we all disagreed with. Correct. But for me, all of that's pointless if the poor decisions continue. We don't want to hear them continually explained. We want the poor decisions to stop, Howard, and yeah. that is your job. You need to get to the bottom and of I, that. As I say, I think that that whole management of the VAR room and the referee on the pitch needs to be looked at. 